It brings you peace. It brings you joy. It brings you victory. It'll send the devil and the demons to run. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord, there's something about that name. For you are all authority. Hallelujah. You are the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Oh, glory to God. You're he that was dead and alive and alive forevermore. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, one day, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus.
God. All right, and Sister Linda. Uh, hallelujah. Well, Lord bless these words this morning. It is your words. Lord, it is already anointed. But Lord, I ask that you anoint me, Lord, to use me. And Lord, let it let it soak into us this morning, Father. Lord God, like never before, Lord God, right now, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you a few minutes about iniquity. <laughs> iniquity. I looked up the word iniquity. Pretty much what we all think it is. It says it's gross injustice or wickedness. A violation of right or duty. A wicked act or sin. Plain and simple. Gross injustice or wicked act, a violation of right or duty, a wicked act, and sin. <coughs> Turn with me to Psalms this morning. We're going to be going through a little bit, but I won't go to Psalms first and, and, and Isaiah. Um, Psalms 25, we're going to start out. Psalms 25, not 23, but 25. <laughs> Psalms 25, about verse 11. Psalms 25, verse 11. And Psalms 25, verse 11 says, For my name's sake, O oh Lord, pardon my iniquity. For it is great. Now, I don't care how little or big when you hear that and it's great. And of course we know as far as like David's sin with Bathsheba and, and so forth. But to think about each one of us. We were born in iniquity. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. We were born into sin. Therefore, all of us was in iniquity. But it says, for my name's sake, O oh Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. If you're in the Lord, we was talking this morning about watch false teachings, false prophets. But if a man feareth the Lord, him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Or that the Lord would have him to. His soul shall dwell at ease. Man, are you at ease this morning? Though a lot of things are raging around us. But your soul is at ease. And his seed shall inherit the earth. In other words, his, his word, his, his spirit shall inherit the earth. The Holy Ghost is going around and I believe that each person has a chance to believe whether or not there's a God. And I believe that they have a chance to know that there's a son. 
to accept him or to reject him. Verse 14, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. In other words, it's really not a secret, but if somebody looks and wants to know, how can they do this through the midst of everything that's happening? I'll tell you the secret. His name is Jesus. Amen. That's the secret. You want peace, joy, hallelujah. Woo. Get Jesus. Get Jesus. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Honey, when we accept Christ, we got that blood-covered covenant. Amen. Hallelujah made a covenant with us, praise God, that our sins will be forgiven. If we accept him and repent, hallelujah, and that we shall enter in to his kingdom. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, and he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Hallelujah. My eyes, honey, if you're looking at Jesus, there's things in the world that's going to try to entrap us. Come on. We're not out of the way. We're subject. And there's a lot of things that's trying to put a net on on Christians or on ourselves through whatever it may be in life's journey. We've heard this morning testimonies and our families, our children, and, and so forth. But the thing of it is, if you keep your eyes up on God, He will get you out of the net. He'll keep you out of it. Hallelujah. Or if you get caught up a little bit, He'll pull you out of it. Just the same as He'll pull you out of the deep water. Hallelujah. And rescue you. Amen. If you keep your eyes upon him. When Peter kept his eyes upon him, he walked upon the water. But when he took his eyes off of him, he began to sink. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Take your eyes off of Christ and you'll get caught up in tangled to where you can't get a, get out. I'll get caught up where I can't get out of my pocket knife and cut the rope to get the net. But also Catch so much. He'll give you so many blessings. Verse 16. Turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me. Oh, have mercy upon me. For I am desolate and afflicted. Oh, you ever feel that way? I'm desolate and afflicted, oh God. Oh, turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me. Oh, shut up, come here, shitty. I want you to know, friends. Uh, thank God, I believe so. In the Bible, it says that his mercy and it is a renewal for his grace every morning. Every morning. It's renewed. In other words, then, and this is something that sometimes, oh, oh Lord, help me. 
I wasn't planning on this. A stale Christian is like an old stale piece of bread. upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. 
It says it rains on the just and the unjust. But honey, if we hold on to Jesus each day, he'll renew us each day. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every second. Amen. He'll renew us. Hallelujah. And he'll take that old dried up piece of bread and make it feel like a fresh loaf. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, shut up. Come on here. Verse 17. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Yes. Oh, folks, when you see things that are going on, not just in this country, the world, but closer to home and in families uh, and so forth and what we have to deal with and the sickness and things, uh, my heart just, my heart troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Woo, he's going to bring me out. Just as he brought him out. Ha, that part of the Red Sea. Ha, I think he's going to bring his head one day. When there's no way of escape down here. Ha, the trumpet of the Lord's going to sound. He's going to say, come up, young girl.
cast me not away from thy presence. Oh, honey, you can walk out from God's presence. I wouldn't advise it. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Oh, wouldn't it be awful? And, and I know there's times we get to a place that you think you can't feel the Lord. That's those desolate desert times. Oh, but that's when breakthroughs are coming. That's when breakthroughs are coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Glory to God, glory to God. Psalms 103. Psalms 103. Just verses 4 and 5. Psalms 103, verse 4 and 5. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with what? Loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. I believe they say, what is it? it is it like eagles every year? The old wings, they, they grow new or new feathers or whatever, and the old comes off to renew me like an eagle. Oh, hallelujah. Think about that. Glory to God. Turn with me to Isaiah. Just keep on going. Isaiah 53. <clears throat> 4 and 5. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken smiting of God and afflicted. Oh, hallelujah. But verse 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Matthew 24. Keep up with me. I'm about done. Matthew 24. Oh. Matthew 24 would relate a lot today. Matthew 24, 12 and 13. Matthew chapter 24, verses 12 and 13. But he that shall endure, whoops, I'm sorry, verse 12, 12 and 13. And because iniquity shall abound. What I just read, iniquity, gross injustice or wickedness, a violation of right or duty, wicked act, sin. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be what? shall be saved. Hallelujah. Second Timothy, and I'm closing. Keep on going through through the T section. That's the one we missed. No, that's what I call it. Let me get there. Second Timothy.
Timothy chapter 2. And just verse 19. Chapter 2, verse 19. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. That means unshakable. That means determined. Nothing can tear it down. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Having this seal, the Lord know them that are what? His. That are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ <coughs> depart from what? <coughs> from iniquity. Everyone that knows Christ, let him depart from iniquity. Friends, listen, I know sometimes and, and we let things slip or we do this and that. But the thing of it is, we don't, as I said last week, we don't practice sin no more. Let us depart from iniquity, and he will renew us each day. We won't get caught in the net. Hallelujah. If we stand for sure. Praise God, praise God. Lord, everything in this prayer box right now. Lord, I ask that you touch. Lord, you know the needs. Some's been answered. But Father, right now, and some is, Lord, I just pray, you know, God, I pray that you call them to repentance. Lord, their iniquities. Lord, let them get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Lord, I pray it right now that you touch each one. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Folks, hang in there. If you're here today and you need something of the Lord, 